Hi everyone, welcome back to the lecture series of Tribology and Data Technology. I am Neha Joshi, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Let us continue our sixth chapter that is Tribological Aspect of Rolling Motion and Gears. Now in previous session we covered what is gear and spur gear, tribology of spur gear, friction and wear of spur gear and lubrication of spur gear. Now, in today's session, we will cover different topics like surface failure of gear, oil analysis technique, offline analysis of gear and online analysis of gear. First of all, we will discuss about the gear surface failure. The gear failure can be grouped into plastic flow failure, breakage of gear tool and surface failure. A failure due to the plastic flow of the material occurs due to excessive yielding of gear tooth under heavy loads. The breakage of gear tooth is defined as a fracture of substantial portion of the tooth. Increase of abrasive particles in the lubricant causes the surface failure of gear tooth. Scratching of gear teeth occurs hard when the hard particles slide under the pressure across to tooth surface. Okay, so this is surface failure is very important for the gear tooth. In absence of appropriate lubricant, there is a possibility of overheating of gear tooth in meshing condition. The temperature at gear interface depends on the rate of friction heat generation, the rate of heat dissipation from the gear and from the gear housing to the outside. From the heat dissipation point of view, steel or plastic mating gears is preferred over a plastic to plastic mating pair. In case of steel plastic mating gear pair, case hardened steel gear having the surface quality is less than 12 micrometer shall be used. Okay, so the driving pinion is always subjected to the greater gear. Okay, between gear and pinion, generally the driving pinion is always subjected to greater wear as compared to the gear. Therefore, the pinion should always be of the more wear resistance okay, material, okay, likely in steel and plastic mating gear pair. In addition, the plastic gear face should be slightly narrow than that of the steel gear to avoid any grooving into the face of the plastic gear. So, to reduce the temperature rise, completely open gear assembly, if appropriate lubrication is ensured, is preferred over a partially closed gear assembly. Okay. One of the surface failures which occur due to the overheating of tooth mesh is scoring. Okay. First, surface failure mostly considered as scoring. In what is scoring now? In scoring, failure occurs due to the tearing out of small particles that weld together as a result of excessive local heating. After the localized welding, torque to be transmitted shears the metal from pinion and gear surfaces and produce irregular surfaces. Such failure initiate microscopically but progressively progress rapidly. Scoring is sometimes known as scuffing. Okay, so solid lubricants, liquid lubricants with EP additives, profile modification are few methods to provide, prevent surface failure or scoring of the gear teeth. Okay. Now, we will discuss about the oil analysis technique. Now, there are two methods for oil analysis. Okay, first one is online analysis and second one is offline analysis. Now, first of all, we will understand why oil analysis is important. Now, gear will work satisfactorily only if the operating condition, which operating condition like speed and load condition, material strength and lubrications are favorable. Failure of gears can be delayed and major breakdown of machine caused by gear failure can be avoided by monitoring the gear health and deciding appropriate maintenance scheme. To implement such foolproof maintenance management technique, the first and foremost step is the right selection of monitoring techniques to detect the condition of gears. Most the gears are operated under lubrication and the use of lubricant coming out from the gear box contain lots of information regarding the envelope in which it circulates. Early detection of changing in lubricant condition and consistent monitoring of weird metal debris coming along with the lubricant provide greater insight of the actual condition of the gear box. Okay. Now, uh, we will discuss about the, the oil analysis. Oil analysis is divided into two parts, online and offline analysis. 
online analysis as you can see here is further divided into three part first one is total parents where okay uh, where which sends the uh, debris sensor total ferrous wear debris sensor which is used for measure ferrous concentration in the parts per minute ppm okay second one is oil condition sensor which is used for checking quality of oil and third one is moisture sensor which is used for measuring percentage of rh and oil temperature now next method of oil analysis is offline analysis which is further divided into two parts first one is analytical ferrograph and ferroscope and scanning electron microscope asem which is used for measuring size and morphology of wear particles and second one is direct reading ferrograph which is used for measuring number of ferrous particles okay now first of all we will discuss what is offline analysis in an offline analysis technique a greater emphasis is given to the ferrograph which separates a wear debris and contaminant particles from a lubricant and arrange them according to the size on a transparent substrate for a examination the particle can be examined using a standard optical mi mi microscope particle type or overall surface characteristic and color can be studied using the microscope to observe root cause failure related to the gear scanning electron microscope will be used figure in figure you can see the direct reading ferrograph okay now what is direct uh, reading ferrograph direct reading ferrography is a quantitative analysis of ferrous particle present in the used oil it is used to separate larger okay uh, larger the uh, generally larger particle uh, which is uh, greater than 5 micrometer and smaller a uh, particle less than 5 micrometer and size of ferrous particle present in the oil sample the number given do not relate to any other number such as ppm the parts per minute the direct reading ferrograph you can see here in the diagram in this equipment magnetic field is used to separate the ferrous particle at the starting point of the magnetic field particle of 5 micron or greater are collected and towards end of the magnetic field 1 to 2 micron particles are collected the densities of the particle are found by sending the monochromatic light through the bottom of glass part of the precipitate tube and amount of light cut off by the particle build up in the glass tube is read about the glass tube by sensor which are converted into dn and ds reading the performance of the lubricant is compared based on the one indices wear rate index which is given by the equation dl plus dx and wear intensity index which is given by the uh, dl minus ds and wear sensitivity sensi uh, servicity index is given by the equation si is equal to dl into dl minus ds divided by ds okay so this is what about the direct reading uh, par ferrography now here you can see the ferrograph analyzer which consists of a pump to deliver an oil sample at a low rate approximately 0.2 ml per minute a magnet to provide a high gradient magnetic field near its pole and a ferrogram on which the particles are deposited the oil sample dilute with a special solvent to promote the part, uh, precipitation of a wear particles is a pump across a ferrogram which is mounted at a slight inclination okay the magnetic particles adhere to the substrate distributed approximately according to the size Larger ferrous particles are deposited near entry zone where the field is weakest, and smaller particles are deposited further downstream, as you can see here in the diagram. After the particles have deposited on the ferrogram, a solvent is used to flush out, flush away the oil, okay, residue or water-based lubricant. Okay, after the solvent evaporates, the wear particles remain permanently attached to the glass substrate and are ready to microscopic examination. Okay, and the lubricants will flow. Away. So, scanning the elect electron microscope (ACM) and energy dispersive X-ray analysis are used to detect the size, shape, and material of collected wear particles. And by that, we can examine the failure of the gear, estimate the failure of the gear. Now, we will discuss about the online monitoring of the gear. What is online monitoring of the gear? the most common online monitoring care techniques relevant to the detection of gear faults are vibration monitoring and oil analysis okay now here we focus on the oil analysis the oil analysis include both lubricant analysis 
okay and we are debris analysis okay which is uh, lubricant analysis is useful for low speed lubricated machinery and we are debris analysis is useful for detecting pitting failure or wear of the spur when gear teeth are move against one another with a sufficient normal force wear occurs in the presence of liquid lubricant the wear particles or debris get mixed in the lubricant oil okay so analyzing those wear debris help diagnosing the wear related of gear faults moreover material removed from the contacting surface contaminates lubricant and deteriorate the oil quality as lubricant analysis is good indicator of the gear faults in online analysis the oil coming out from the gear box is pumped by the tubes to online sensors and then from the sensors the oil enter the gear box online analysis sensors generally include on oil condition quality sensors and moisture sensors and total ferrous wear debris sensors the total fear uh, ferrous wear debris sensor is used for measuring ferrous concentration in ppm part per minute present in the oil sample ferrous debris is expressed in the parts per million by weight as we are increase the ferrous concentration also increase which gives the indication of fault oil condition sensor and moisture sensors are used for analyzing and change occurring in oil particles okay so oil condition sensor is used for the monitoring physical and chemical properties of lubricant the oil condition sensors indicate the condition of oil okay Uh, using a zero to hundred index scale, generally zero is at surface uh, as reference of for new oil. As the oil degrade the oil quality, number of increase from the zero level. The moisture sensor is used for detecting the moisture content of water of oil up to its saturation point and oil temperature. The moisture sensor expresses the moisture content as a percentage related to the humidity. Okay. Now the here you can see the gear test rig used for the condition monitoring of the spur gear the test ring assembly used for experimentation consists of spur gear box driven by the shunt electric motor generally it is 30 kw dc motor and speed controlled to regulate motor speed in the range of 0 to 3000 rpm the torque generally 0 to 75 newton per newton to meter is applied on the gears with the help of eddy current dynamometer coupled with the output shunt the test gear box consists of a pair of standard involved profile spur gears and bearing For the driving shaft, the motor is concentrated to the input shaft of gearbox through the coupling. Similarly, output shaft of the gearbox is connected to the shaft of torque sensor through coupling. So, to take care of the angular and linear misalignment, universal coupling is used between the dynamometer and flow shaft. Okay, so this gear uh, uh, gearbox arrangement is used for measuring the gear fault. Okay, online monitoring for the gear. Box. Okay, so this is what about the online and offline monitoring of the gears. Okay, thank you all of you for watching this video.